Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Man, do we have a vlog for you today. Now, we're not really gonna talk ball pythons or show any ball pythons. Um, it's pretty much a feeding video. I haven't done one of these feeding videos for a long, long time. Um, it's not um, it's not live feed anyways. It's just a, an unboxing we're gonna be doing from our buddies, uh, Sam and Katie Olive, that own Stillwater Quail. Um, as you guys know, our anaconda just eats, you know, little chicks. And you know, you've seen a couple of videos, he reached out to me and I was like, I didn't even know they did that, man, but I'm really, really excited because, you know, not only could we feed the, um, the anaconda, but we could feed the beaded lizard, we could feed, you know, the indigo, because the indigo eats anything. So we're gonna be doing some boxing, we're gonna check some of these sizes, on these quails and then we're gonna get to feeding. So no ball pythons. Actually, you know what, let's show a couple of them. <laughs> I just can't help it, you know. <laughs> look at this, guys. She's in shed, but look at that beauty right there. That right there is a Cypress Inchy Sunset. Dude, I cannot wait for these girls to go, man. Look at this. You gotta love these beauties, man. This right here is freaking awesome. These girls are really putting on some size. Um, I think they'll be good to go by March, hopefully. We'll see. But right here, we have, you know, we could hit some triple visual just coming here. But, um, all right, guys, let's get to opening this up and uh, let's see what we got. All right. Oh, shit. Damn, these bad boys are heavy. Look at this uh, packing travel, man. Look at this. This is so freaking sick. Look how freaking nice and neat this is right here. Oh, look, here's our information right here, guys. Sam and Katie Olive, Stillwater Quail, Broadview, Montana. Instagram, Facebook, obviously all their stuff's gonna be on the description down below. But dude, this is some really nice packing, man. Like dude, it's, risen. it's still really cold, man. Thank you guys very, very much. Now let's check out some of these sizes. Ugh. And uh, we can start feeding. I'm excited. I'll probably have to thaw out a couple of these bad boys though. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Holy oh hell. Six weeks old? Dude, these are gonna be perfect for the for the indigo. What do you think? And for the oh anaconda? Yeah, even for yeah. I'm shooting in really these. Okay, so I believe these right here are all six weeks old right there. <laughs> Wait, six weeks? Are they the same? These look bigger. That's six weeks. Six weeks old. These look way bigger than these, though. Maybe they're different kind of quail. Correlations? <laughs> um, Don't say they bantam both... quail. Bantam quail? Yeah, or... what do those say? Premium. You're the good reader, turtle. Premium coterinix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe they're different kind of quail. Yeah, I think they are. <laughs> Dude. All right, I'm definitely going to ask her right now. Um, I don't think the anaconda key any of these. I mean, I don't know. And the condas do eat some really, really, really big prey. Um, so, um, hmm. I don't know. We're gonna thought a couple of these bad boys and we're gonna definitely get some to the indigo and to the anaconda and go from there. So let's get started. All right guys, so these things are completely thought out, nice and ready, but man, we're super excited. Again, so Stillwater Quails, they're actually, you know, uh, mostly sell to a lot of falconers, a lot of people, you know, with birds of prey, um, but they started selling a lot of these uh, chicks and a lot of these quails out to a lot of reptile people. So these you know, things are super high in protein, super clean um, birds, man. And I actually am really, really excited to get, you know, Andy, on some of these and also our indigo the indigo eats like two or three times a week so you know let's get started um we're gonna start off with the indigo real quick and come on down actually we should probably start off with andy because he takes like an hour just to eat it's so funny andy the anaconda will like eat one eat one probably like in what like 10 20 15 minutes. minutes 20 minutes then the other ones you'll like scarf them down really really quick but um let's see this is first time him eating a quail let's see oh he's hungies Look at that. Oh man. Let's put him over here so we can actually get a better look at him. Unless he likes to eat him in the water. But put him right there. So freaking cool. Look at this guy. This guy is already ready, man. Look at him. Okay, so this guy right now, um, you know, he is he is gonna pop out. I'm gonna hold him out here for a little bit as he's chopping that thing down. We'll probably be able to get him down. I should probably could record the whole feeding on that one. So I got him a little bit of a smaller one. So with our indigo, we have to make sure he kind of gets from head. Because if not, he'll just start munching them on. It'll take a while. But uh, let's see, he's he has not had a chick or um, any kind of like a bird for a long time. So 
Let's see, I don't even know if you'll eat one still. You want it? Oh, I don't man. think so. That is so weird. Yeah, he's like going away from me. I don't think he likes it. That's so weird. He smashed on so many chicks before. There it is. There it is. Well, it's such a nice little bite, too. That's so <laughs> weird. The cool thing about this guy, man, is I actually can bring him out to so kind of get a better, you know, look at how he's eating. So you see, guys, what I meant that, you know, it's once he finds a head, it'll go down smoothly, but usually it'll be a little, like, it'll take him a while just because he has two, these things are so aggressive, they just start going from the side of him. We're definitely gonna have to clean up these floors, but I definitely want to give you guys a good look of this guy eating. What I'll do is I'm just gonna put him back in and then we'll chuck it up little by little so he can enjoy his food. All right guys, we'll do an update on him here shortly. All right, so now we're gonna give this little chunky monkey over here to the beaded lizard. Of course, he's gonna make a mess. But um, let's see if he'll take them. Meanwhile, let's look at the indigo. He's almost there. Look at that. This guy is going to be full after that. And of course guys, look at Andy. Always takes a sweet time. He'll literally take about 20-30 minutes. And now look at the beaded lizard. Venom. He is having a... He's just now getting them down. Looking for his head. This guy usually... Dude, I don't know why he takes so long just to, you know, to eat these things. This guy honestly, man, is taking forever to get, you know, to size. Let's check the other ones. Oh, he's almost done. Dude, these indigos are no joke. Look at that. Scarfing them down. And then we have the beaded. And sorry about the glass reflection, guys. You know, like I said, we don't really do feeding videos, but I thought this would be pretty cool. All right, guys, so we finally have Andy in action. Right there. Again, sorry about the lighting, but. He takes so long just to eat. Oh, it's so freaking annoying. I can't even tell you guys. I think he found a head, but he started constricting them again. There we go. Look at that. About time, Andy. And this is what we wanted to see. Look at that, guys. Wow. You can see the beak right there. I don't know, something pointing out right out of its tummy. Patea, how cool is that? Dude, these things hopefully are gonna get them really, really. This is the first time we've actually seen Andy with a nice little, you know, oh shit. <laughs> that, did not, that did not work out. Damn, I almost got to All right guys, well you guys saw a little bit of the feed. I mean, so these guys take forever to feed. And unless I left the camera on there, you know, did some kind of a time, uh, what's it called, a time lapse. It's the only way we'd be doing it, but I'm not even set up for that anymore. But again, I want to give a big shout out to Stillwater Quails for hooking us up with some of these quails. Make sure if you guys want to feed any, uh, if you have any uh, animals that eat, birds um make sure you guys go hit them up as always guys we appreciate all the support until next time peace <laughs>